Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to import your citations into Zotero. So first things first, you'll go to the university library website. If I'm looking for a specific paper on global climate change and ocean temperatures, I can search that. And you'll see here, I'm looking for things that have something available online. And we'll go to the online database where this paper is actually housed. And you can log in using your university login. This will give you access to all the papers that the library has access to. So here's the online version of this paper, and I don't actually need to download the PDF because using the Zotero Chrome plugin, all you have to do is click the button up here and it'll automatically save everything to your Zotero library. So here you'll see the details of that. And just to double check, you can go into Zotero and sort by the date that things were last added, and you'll see there it is. It shows up right at the top there. You can verify all the information, the title, the authors, the abstract even gets pulled in, and the date, and all the information is stored within Zotero, so you can use it when you're writing your papers. But if there's any sort of papers that the library doesn't have, so let's say you're using Google Scholar, um, not the library website, and I'm looking for a coral reef biodiversity loss papers, and I find this um, nice one here, or even this one, habitat loss, from Global Change Biology. Instead of downloading the PDF itself, I could just basically capture the citation using the plugin up here in the right hand corner. So I could download the PDF if I want to save it, but otherwise if it's not available, just go up here, click on this, and once this turns into a um, bolded, so see it just got, got the snapshot from the website, it says there's no full PDF available, but it's already added it to my Zotero library. And again, I can just go back to Zotero and look, there it is. I can verify all the information again and use this when writing my paper.